Florida A&M. Well, maybe we here. North Carolina A&T. Dang day, baby. Dang day. Yes, sir. The winner takes control of first place in the MEAC. Now for the youngsters out there, this rivalry used to be that thing back in the day, boy, let me tell you. The crowd is on its feet. It's Aggies, an opportunity to go ahead and first and goal from the four hits. Touchdown, a and leads. Mid Eastern Athletic Conference, game of the week, win great, Florida and and quarterback throwing, has a man, touchdown. And this year's FAMU a and showdown felt just like the old days, as both teams are back on top of the Miag Mountain, and they treated fans in Greensboro to an instant black college classic. And the Aggies got things popping right from jump. Malik Wilson takes the opening kickoff to the house like the street lights were about to come on. One hundred yards, fifteen seconds, seven zero Aggies. The Aggie D steps up to bat next as Tamandre Abram lets us know he's a true go-getter. He goes up and intercepts this Ryan Stanley pass. Later in the first quarter, the dogs bite again. This time, Lamar Renard finds Zach Leslie on a slant. He slips past the arm tackle, and 38 yards later, it's 14-0. Aggies on top of the Rattlers. Second quarter, the Rattler D gets them fangs out. Antonio Miller tips it to himself for the nice INT. Fam, you looking to get on the board with a field goal? No, wait, it's a fake. Chris Fadul gets off a good pass to an open Anthony Jones, but somebody done greased the pigskin because he can't quite hang on to it, and the Rattlers are still waiting to strike. They would get their fangs in some Aggie on the very next drive. Markel Cartwright with a nice run and is almost out of bounds when Herman Jackson gets the strip, the scoop, and if you can't tell by the fam you sideline going ham, he also gets the score. The Rattlers are on the board, but down 14-6. The Aggies get a pump block that gives them great field position, and Lamar Renard wastes no time finding Zachary Leslie in the corner for his second score of the half, 21-6. A and T at the half, so we all know what that means. It's blue and gold marching machine time. And with the marching 100 not making the trip up from Florida, the BGMM was sure enough living their best life with the whole halftime to themselves, and they used every second of it. They had props, theatrics, and yes, they even gave their seniors some time to shine on their own. What else can I say? That band is dope. Second half, FAMU slithers down the field on a long 16-play drive that culminates with this Azande Ray five-yard touchdown. The Rattlers close the gap 21-13, and you might want to buckle up because this fourth quarter was a wild one. First, we got to take a second to appreciate the shakes that Azande Ray puts on not one but two Aggie defenders. I'm not even sure what you call that second move, but I liked it. Those moves were a part of another long FAMU drive, and they look to inch even closer with a field goal, but Yaya Ali misses the 44-yard attempt, and the Aggies are still up eight. The Rattler D does make a big stop. Ryan Stanley and crew get the ball back, looking to gain some ground on the scoreboard, but they're facing a third and 13 when Ryan Stanley finds Professor X, Xavier Smith, who dives for the first down marker, but he's caught just inches shy of the first. Fan picks it up on this fourth down run from Ricky Henryless, and the drive is alive. A couple plays later, Ryan Stanley finds Chad the touchdown hunter, who sidesteps an Aggie and dives for the end zone for six. That makes the score 21-19, but not so fast, young fella. You gotta get back out there and try to tie this ball game up. A little trickery on the two-pointer. Marcus Williams gets the end around pitch from the running back direct snap, and whoever said that football is a game of inches ain't never lied, cause I couldn't tell if he crossed the goal line or not. Both teams have opposing reactions, but the official call is no good. Aggies still up two after the failed conversion. 6.13 left on the clock, and the Aggies still need to make some plays to get up out of here with the dub. But the story of this game was really FAMU's D showing up when they needed to. They force a punt and give their offense three minutes to get down in the field goal range. The Aggies will give them some help though. Derrick Williams clearly gets a hold of Xavier Smith's jersey here. That's a pass interference penalty which sets up Ocho Quattro for this 19-yard gain, which gets Yaya Ali in a much more comfortable kicking position. And from 26 yards out, 10 seconds on the clock, 
Ali drills the go-ahead field goal, and the Rattler sideline is jumping around like Cypress Hill is playing. But hold up, there's still four seconds left, and anything can happen, and it almost did. Aggies with a nice pitch play from Malik Williams who gets a bunch of yards, but he runs out of blockers, and that's all she wrote. Fam U22, A T21, Rattlers, welcome to first place in the MIAT. Yeah, they tried us, bro. And we came out here and took over, man. Yeah, man. We the real MIAT, chill out. And Coach Simmons' first thought after the game weren't necessarily about the upset win. His thoughts were with the people in Florida who are still dealing with Hurricane Matthew. Yeah, and our thoughts and prayers go out to everybody affected by the hurricane. It's been an emotional week. A lot of people lost everything. And um, this team wanted to win it for all the survivors and everyone who lost everything. And these guys got an amazing amount of fight in them. They never quit. My birthday was yesterday, so they told me they gonna give me a birthday present. Go Rattlers, love y'all. Man, look. Man, we back, baby, number one. Tell you, baby. Tell you, number one, baby. You're crazy, man. Last second win like that. Just goes to show, man, keep fighting. Keep chasing your dream, you're gonna get it. All glory to God. Coach Simmons, we thank you. We thank you. Happy birthday, Coach Simmons. Happy birthday. We live out here, boy. Let you know. Damn you back, boy. We coming for everything. We back. Me at championship. We just back. Did it. <laughs>